Welcome back to another episode of Mr. J's Workshop. This week uh, we're engraving a wine barrel lid and uh, we're going to do this for the Silver Brewing Company. They're a brand new brewing company that just, op uh, just opening up this week on November the 8th here in Bernie, Texas. And uh, they provided me with this wine barrel lid and they wanted me to engrave their logo. So I want to show you how I did this and let's get started. So for this job there was multiple steps. I had sanding, uh, polyurethane, uh, masking, removing the tape and applying two D rings with a cable to hold the, uh, the wine barrel lid on the wall. Uh, the first step was the sanding, so uh, I used 120 uh, to get everything smooth, and then I used a 220 to finish. After that, uh, I used polyurethane. I put two coats of polyurethane, and I let that sit for 24 hours. Uh, as soon as that was cured, I applied masking tape. Um, I always use masking tape just in an event that I, I need to do some coloring or something uh, if the engraving's not dark enough uh, to stand out the artwork for the job. So I finished the laser engraving on the wine barrel lid. Uh, I removed it out of the machine and removed all the masking tape off, off the wine barrel lid. Uh, was not really pleased with the wording. Uh, I wanted the wording to pop out for the customer. And uh, I decided that I was gonna put it back in the machine, relocate it, and re-engrave it. Um, I'm dreading this. So, so my thoughts are, I'm gonna make the outline wider, and I'm gonna add 10% gray to the, the fill-in of the wording. And, and what that should do is dull, uh, engrave the polyurethane, just dull it, not, not take it all the way off, and, and get it to stand out from the clear polygloss uh, that's on it. Um, but I'm dreading this. So relocating the wine barrel lid in the engraver is going to be just a little bit of a challenge. Most of the time what I do is I have stops uh, located in the X and Y so, so the job always relocates just in case I have to do that. Uh, but I didn't have it done on this job so uh, it took me a little bit of uh, time to align the, uh, the artwork to the, the axis of the machine and I, and I just used the laser pointer uh, to help me align the, the wording and once I had it pretty in line with the X, I uh, relocated the Y uh, origin and then re relocated the X origin. And just to make sure everything was right, I got some of my blue tape and lined the blue tape along the top of the artwork and just engraved the blue tape to make sure... Uh, the artwork was pretty centered and everything was aligned. Uh, you, you can see in s some of the video here that the, uh, the yes is lined up uh, on the left side of the artwork and the R is lined up on the right side of the art art artwork and everything looks good. So we'll see how this works out. Uh, I, I always dread this because there always could be a, a slight mis mismatch but we'll see how this turns out. I'm really happy the way the engraving came out. Uh, it, it's always a hit and miss sometimes when you, you try something on these uh, wine barrel lids. Um, but uh, I really like the way it came out. I think the customer's gonna be really happy. The wording pops uh, right out, uh, representing the company really well. And um, yeah, I'm happy with this. So, if you like this, give us a like. Uh, please subscribe. I really like to get your thoughts and tips. Uh, I do these wine barrel lids quite a bit. And, and I, I found different techniques, but I'm always looking for newer ideas. Uh, with that said, we'll see you next time.